Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here from For The Core. Today I want to talk to you about daily life as a Motor T Marine. All right, I want to give a shout out to Ava Barron. This question came from her on the YouTube channel and I was Motor T guys, so I have no problem speaking on behalf of Motor T, daily life as a Motor T Marine. And I've been asked some questions about other specific MOSs and I, I'm just going to tell you guys like, I don't want to make a lot of videos specifically for different MOS's because I don't have a lot of experience in the other MOS's, right? I was a Motor Team Marine, I can speak on behalf of that and you know if you've got a question about another MOS, look I'll be glad to help answer whatever questions I can about it and I will help do research and I will help you, you figure out what it is that, that MOS is and what you're going to be doing. Um, you know I have a lot of friends who are still in the Marine Corps, a lot of them are, are currently drill instructors. Um, recruiters, I've got some buddies in the schoolhouse, so I've got resources I can reach out to. But at the end of the day, like I'm here for you guys, no matter what. You know, if, if you've got a question that I don't know the answer to, I'll do my damn best to find that answer for you. All right, so just want to get that out there. Thank you again, Ava, for uh, for this recommendation on this video. I had already planned on doing this video at some point in the near future. Figured, what the hell, I'll do it right now for you. So let's start from the beginning. You know, you join the Marine Corps, you're gonna have to go to basic training, 13 weeks, you know. To earn that title, you gotta graduate boot camp, all right? Now, after boot camp, you're gonna get 14 days of boot leave. You're gonna get to go home to see your family and friends. I would just advise, don't do anything stupid. Don't get into a car accident. Um, don't get in trouble with the law. Just go back, relax, have fun, and decompress a little bit because you're gonna go right back to training. All right, after those 14 days are over with, you're shipping off to the School of Infantry, all right? Depending on what your MOS is, if you're in 03 MOS, you're pursuing an infantry MOS, you're gonna be going to Infantry Training Battalion, ITB. That's about a nine week course, and once you guys graduate from that, you infantry cats, you're gonna be shipping off to the Fleet Marine Corps to your units, that's all you got, all right? If you're not infantry and you're pursuing Motor T as an example, or any other MOS that's not an 03, you're going to be going to Marine Combat Training, MCT, all right? Both ITB and MTB are at School of Infantry, all right? School of Infantry is located on the East Coast and the West Coast. Now, depending on where you went to boot camp, if you're a Hollywood Marine and you went to San Diego, you're going to SOI West at Camp Pendleton. If you are a Paris Island Marine and you graduated basic training from there, you're going to be going to SOI East in Camp Geiger, North Carolina. It's a satellite base of Camp Lejeune, and that's where School of Infantry East is held. If you're not an 03 MOS, you're, you're like Motor T, you're gonna be going to MCT, like I said, that's five weeks long. You know, you'll be getting more hands-on experience with the weapon systems, learning how to be a basically trained rifleman, right? All Marines are a rifleman, first and foremost, and you'll be getting a little crash course in that, going to the field, doing some cool Marine stuff. But once those five weeks are over with, you're shipping off to your MOS schools, all right? This video is about Motor T, so Motor Transport Marines, 3531 MOS code, you are going to be going to Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri, all right? Also known as Fort Lost in the Woods. It's an army base in the middle of nowhere in Missouri, not necessarily middle of nowhere, but it's in a little shitty town in Missouri, and nothing special to it. Um, there's a couple other Marine MOSs that train there as well, um, you have your Seaburn specialists. Those are the guys that do like the gas chamber and I don't really know what else they do, but um, things like that. And you also have military police. Um, those MOS schools are all held at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. And as a motor team Marine at Fort Leonard Wood, I would just say, look, get ready to PT a lot. You know, we did a lot of running there, man. A lot of running. I think the most we ever ran one morning for PT was almost 12 miles. Like that's crazy. I'd never run that much. I don't remember if we were getting punished for something, but probably most likely it. But there's a thing at Fort Leonard Wood called Car Wash Hill. For those of you guys who've never heard of it, it's a it's just a road with a very gradual incline. It goes up forever. Some parts are steeper than others. So by the time you get done running from the bottom to the top of that, you're just broke off, man. You're ready to freaking take a nap and just lay down. Um, and they use that to their advantage, man. The instructors, they run that like every morning. So they're used to it. Um, it's hard the first few times, obviously, but it, it gets easier, just like any other thing in fitness. You know, the more you do it, the better you get, the stronger you get. And 
you know, like I said, get ready to PT a lot because you're going to be PTing a lot. So aside from that, actual motor T side of things, get ready to get a lot of hands-on experience with the trucks. You'll be spending a lot of time in the classroom, learning all the different payloads and the gross vehicle weights, all these different things, the nomenclature about the trucks. Uh, you'll get your Humvee license, you'll get your seven ton license. I'm not sure if they're doing MRAP, MTV, stuff like that licenses in MOS school. I'm sure they are. Uh, there's a vehicle called the LBSR. When I was going through MOS school, I believe I was the first class that got trained on that vehicle specifically. Those of you guys and gals who've never heard of an LVSR, here's a picture of one right here, all right? But MOS school, if I can give you one piece of advice, I would just tell you, and I can't harp on this enough, learn the basics of your job. It doesn't matter if you're Motor T, Infantry, MP, Supply, Logistic, whatever it is, learn the basics of your job. All right, have a lot of questions. Be willing to get your hands dirty. You know, you don't want to be that Marine who shows up to your unit and just doesn't know a damn thing about your job, all right? Sure, you're just learning the basics, but if you don't even know that when you arrive to your unit, you're gonna have a living hell, all right? Your unit does not want you guys showing up, not knowing what the hell you're doing, because it looks bad on your instructors at MOS school, and it's probably not their fault. It's probably you who, gaffed off, who didn't pay attention, and just thought it was a joke, all right? If there's another thing I could give you in the Marine Corps, it's excel, you, you wanna have that drive, be motivated, be driven, you know? Not only are you wanting to be an expert at your job, the, the certain MOS that you're in, but you wanna be a PT stud, man. You wanna do um, everything to the best of your abilities, right? Because that's the type of things that are gonna get you promoted. That's the type of things that are gonna get you noticed by your staff NCOs and your NCOs, guys. Because in the Marine Corps, there's a thing called meritorious promotions. You know, if you get meritoriously promoted, you're getting promoted above your peers sooner because you've shown a willingness, you've shown leadership abilities, you show that you're NCO material, right? Um, when I graduated boot camp, in boot camp I was a squad leader maybe three different times. I kept getting fired for whatever, didn't really care. I didn't really necessarily want to be a squad leader in boot camp or a guide for that matter. I was just focused on getting through it. All right, but I love PT. I love giving 110% and I looked at everything as a competition. I was always trying to beat that dude to my left and to my right. So right before graduation, we're all in formation and they started handing out meritorious promotions. They gave out three or four if I remember right. All right, we had four squad leaders and a guide. For sure the guide got meritorious promoted one or two of the squad leaders got meritorious promoted, and then random ass me, Private Iconelli. I got promoted above my peers in boot camp, and you know, it's because I, I was shit hot, man. I, I was a PT stud, and I busted my ass. Um, it gave me a lot of confidence, it motivated me, because here I was, just a random guy in boot camp, and I got meritorious promoted over some of the squad leaders. So that was an awesome feeling. All right, I took that motivation and drive into the fleet, and within a year and a half of me joining the Marine Corps, I was already a corporal. I got meritoriously promoted to corporal, so I can tell you from experience, bust your ass and everything you do. You know, Marine Corps is real big on integrity, man. Doing the right thing when no one's watching. So you want to do things that set you, set you apart from uh, from your peers, right? So I'm veering off topic a little bit, but I'm trying to give you these these little nuggets because they're important. When you hit the fleet and you get to your unit as a junior Marine, E1 through E3, get ready as a Motor T Marine, get ready to go on a lot of working parties. All right, working parties are shit duties, man. Like you're just gonna be, they're gonna hand select a bunch of different E1s through E3s and you guys are gonna go, you know, clean a, a warehouse or you're gonna freaking do a massive police call for trash at the, at the battalion or you know anything it could be anything um, do an inventory checklist stuff like that and uh, not fun but you know when you're in E133 you're on the bottom of that totem pole and shit rolls downhill other than that get ready to do a lot of preventative maintenance preventative maintenance is you'll have a PM sheet it's got a checklist and it goes over everything about the truck you know whatever truck you're PMing and we did this like every morning so you'll literally PM every truck, trailer, piece of gear, 
and you're looking for things like scratches that weren't there for the day before or broken mirrors, you're checking the headlights to make sure they work, windshield wipers, checking fluids, all these things, you're looking for anything that's gonna deadline that vehicle, make it inoperable, anything that needs to get fixed, taken to maintenance, you're gonna do things like that. You'll be washing the trucks. You know, you're gonna be doing various runs. We call them runs. You will be assigned to take a water bowl. It's a, it's a, it's a, a water buffalo trailer, the big tank on the back of it. And you're gonna to go to the water station, fill that thing up, take it to a range, Maybe a unit's having a live fire exercise and they need water out there on the range. So what are you doing as a motor team marine? Driving with that trailer, filling it up, and taking it to them. Or maybe you're going to pick up ammo from the ammo supply point and you're taking that to a range. Or Marines have to qualify in the rifle range every year. So guess what? You're gonna get up real early, 03, 03, 30 in the morning, check out the truck at like 0345, head over to the armory at 04, and pick up those Marines and their weapons, drive them to the rifle range, and they're there from sun up to sundown. And guess where you're at? You're right there with them, all right? You're not, you don't leave till the range is done that day. So it's a long day. Um, I did those a lot as a junior Marine, and you know, it's fun occasionally. When you do it a lot, it gets really boring, but I used to bring a pillow with me and a blanket, and I'd freaking take a long nap in the truck, man. And when I woke up, I'd have my phone charger. I'd be sitting on my phone just for hours. I mean, nowadays you bring your laptops, you know, stuff like that. Maybe knock out some college courses, be more productive than I was. Life as a motor T Marine, it's, it is what it is, you know, especially as a junior Marine in, in motor T. As you pick up some rank, you know, when I picked up corporal, uh, you get assigned billets, you get different responsibilities. Um, you're in charge of different things now. Uh, when I was a corporal, I was the assistant dispatcher. So it was me and my sergeant he was the chief dispatcher and we were the ones who we would check out the trucks. You know, if, if there was a, a Marine who needed to go on a, a, a run, they would have to come to us. We have to print out their, their paperwork um, and assign them a vehicle. You know what I mean? Like you just get different responsibilities. There's, there's a lot of different billets in the motor pool. And like I said, if you show that willingness, you bust your ass, ask a lot of questions, show that you're proficient in your job and you want more responsibility, you're gonna get it, all right? And you want that in the Marine Corps. You don't wanna be a freaking junior Marine, guys. Um, because like I said, shit rolls downhill and, and being a junior Marine is not fun, right? Sure, it's fun hanging out with your buddies and stuff like that, but you wanna pick up some rank in the Marine Corps because life gets easier, the higher up that totem pole you get, all right? So I hope I covered a lot. Motor T is not sexy. Uh, it's not one of those uh, things where I'm going to talk anybody out of it because I enjoyed it. Driving those trucks is a good time, you know, especially when you go to the field and you get to do a little bit of off-roading, really see what those trucks are capable of. You know, it's a good time, guys. It's, I'm going to keep saying it over and over. You want to go into the Marine Corps with an open mind, all right? It's not easy. You deal with a lot of bullshit in the Marine Corps. And if you go in with an open mind, understand that it can always be worse, right? You're not the only one suffering, right? Because in the Marine Corps, when you're dealing with some shit, everybody else next to you is dealing with the same shit. So you're there with each other, you're gonna make some great friends, and it's gonna be a great experience. Always, I'll say this again, and I'll keep saying it, embrace the suck, guys, because as I just said, it's not easy. So I don't know if you guys got any more comments, questions, or concerns drop them down below. I really, really appreciate all the support I've gotten in the short amount of time that I've had this channel up and running. Um, I love the amount of questions I'm getting on the videos, the amount of likes and the engagement. All that stuff helps me tremendously, but it also helps me help you because I've got a list of videos I wanna make, but if you guys have questions, I'll either do my best to answer them for you or I'll make a video about them. So, I'm here for you guys. I wouldn't be standing in front of this camera doing this right now if I wasn't passionate about the Marine Corps. If you like this video or found it helpful in any way, smash that like button, guys. Please subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for future videos, guys. This is Tony from For the Corps, Semper Fi.